Okay, I'm getting my coffee. It's a, it's a Sunday morning here in Puerto Vallarta. And hold on a minute. Mmm. And this is Douglas Simonson coming to you from Mexico with another video that's going to make you a better painter. So today I've got some time-lapse drawing videos that are going to amaze and inspire you, I hope. And I also want to talk to you a little about my drawing routine and drawing tools. So what's the most important drawing tool aside from your creative brain and some inspiration? A pencil. So where's my pencil? Just a sec. Okay, so I really like a soft lead. I like satisfies my need for drama, by which I mean high contrast. I like a nice, dark, well-defined line. And so I like a really soft lead. Now, I used to use these. This is a, a uh, what's left of a Prismacolor ebony pencil. This used to be my favorite, but I just had so many problems with the lead breaking that I had to change. Uh, every time I would get going, I would sharpen it, the lead would break, almost immediately. I would resharpen it. Sometimes it would break even while it was in the pencil sharpener. And I finally just gave up on ebony pencils for that reason. What I discovered though, which I really love, is Kimberly pencils. So um, here, I buy these by the dozen. This is, this is what the box looks like. Kimberly pencils and I get, like a dozen at a time, 6B. 6B is a really really soft lead and you that may be too soft for you but I really like it it's my favorite and so like I say I buy them by the box you can find that online just look for uh, Kimberly drawing pencils K-I-M-B-E-R-L-Y and uh, the other tool I want to talk about is a pencil sharpener I really need a sharp pencil so I'm sharpening my pencil all the time while I'm drawing uh, you can get by with something like this, you know, a little, a little thing you can carry around in your pocket. Or you can get, there are tons of uh, battery-powered electric pencil sharpeners you can find online. But what I've discovered, and after many years it's still my favorite, I love it, is something like this. Okay? Very old-fashioned, no battery to run down. And this sharpens the pencil really fast and gets a really good point. I'll show you, uh, I'll give you a little demonstration and show you how this works. The trick to this kind of sharpener is the way it clamps onto the pencil. You see these two little handles sticking out of the top? They're clamps to secure the pencil. Squeeze them together and pull them away from the sharpener. Then you can put your pencil in and let go of the clamps and your pencil is held in place. So then you can just hold onto the top of the sharpener and crank the handle. Very easy once you get the hang of it and you get a nice sharp point with this. This brand is uh, Derwent, but I also like the Carl brand, that's C-A-R-L. You can find these online pretty easily. Okay, so that's a little bit about tools. Uh, now I want to tell you a little bit about my drawing routine. What I like to do, I like to, to uh, practice drawing often because it's very easy to get rusty. I mean, I've been drawing for my whole life and I still, after a week of not drawing, it's like I Forget everything I knew. So drawing often not only keeps me warmed up, keeps me uh, fluid with my drawing, but improves my drawing. And what I like to do, one of my, my favorite things, is I have tons of images on the computer. I have a, hundreds of thousands of images from my photo shoots with my models over the years, but I sometimes like to draw from other people's images just for variety. And I go online and just find images that appeal to me, and I collect them in folders on my computer and then when I'm ready to draw I just put up a bunch of these images and go through them one by one and draw. Sometimes I'll time myself like do one minute or two minute or three minute drawings and just go boom 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 one by one or sometimes I'll just uh, keep drawing until I'm satisfied and then move on to the next one. That's what I was doing in the videos you're gonna see today and uh, the random images I chose for today are all hot muscular Asian guys because I really like drawing hot, muscular, Asian guys. Okay, let's do some drawing.
As you're watching me draw, I want you to notice that I'm never spending a lot of time in one place. I keep moving over the whole drawing. I'm trying to keep the entire image in mind all the time. And one way to do that, my favorite way, is to squint a lot. So when you squint, everything gets blurry and you can't see the details. And that's a really good thing because when you can't see the details, it's easier to focus on the whole image all at once. And when you're trying to get the whole thing down on a piece of paper and get everything in the right place, details are just a hindrance. So squint, squint, squint until it's all blurry. Squint when you're looking at the image you're working from. Squint when you're looking at your drawing that you're creating. And that'll help you keep the whole image in mind and make sure everything's in the right place and the right size. Notice how I start out with fairly light lines because I'm kind of mapping out the figure and I know it's all approximate. Practically everything's going to get moved or altered somehow so I keep the lines light. Then once I get things working, things are more or less in the place that I want them, I'll often run the eraser over everything so that I can still see the lines but then I can move on to the next phase where my lines are going to be more accurate. So start out messy and loose and keep it light. Then as it gets more refined and you get more accurate, then you can start paying attention to how you want your lines looking. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that and you maybe got inspired to do some drawing yourself. And by the way, I just finished putting all three of those drawings up on my website in the G-rated galleries. So go to douglassimonson.com if you want to take a closer look at them. And uh, I think it's about time for you to go do some drawing yourself. But first, do me a favor and if you like this video, click on the like and subscribe to my channel so that you will know when I have a new video coming out. Okay, now go draw!